Now we'll be watching uh, here at 135 pounds in the green and gold singlet from California, Alfred Frausto. And in the blue and white singlet, one of the two wrestlers that wed Walsh Jesuit High School of Ohio to USA Today's number one ranking, Jim Johnson. If I'm not mistaken, Rob, wasn't Johnson uh, ranked, no, personally ranked number one in the country in his weight class? Well, he's certainly one of the top 140 pounders in the nation in high school this year. He didn't win any of his matches in Ohio by less than a major decision. And along with the young man you're going to see at 140 pounds, Clint Musser, uh, the really the heart and soul of that Walsh Jesuit team. And Alfred Frausto from Edison High School in Huntington Beach, California, also an outstanding season. Second in the state in California with a 51 and five record, considering this was only his second year on the varsity at uh, Edison High School. And there is a single leg shot by Jim Johnson and a takedown, nice finish. Call that finish him with a bang. Johnson was a two-time Division I champion in Ohio and was third in the state his freshman and sophomore years. He was 38-0 this year. His career record was 153 wins, eight losses, and a tie. Frausto never wrestled before, before high school, but he had a 113-26 and 26 high school record. He comes from a family of 10 children, the sixth in a family of 10 children. So, and there is the half Nelson that Jim Johnson's famous for, and a little bit too much time. Or he would have had the pin, but three near fall points and a five to nothing lead. He pretty much hammered his way to these finals with those arm bars. He came via uh, beating Mark Getz in the semifinals. And God, he ran those bars all three periods. Uh, spoke to Mark a little bit afterwards with a crooked smile on his face. He said, boy, did that hurt. He just dominated Getz on the mat the entire third period, turned him every which way with that half Nelson off that double arm bar as we have a whistle. Jim Johnson very good at getting off the bottom and that was one of the keys to his uh, success in that six to two win over Getz. Getz very tough on top but it's very hard to ride Johnson and he's gonna be he's gonna sit out he's gonna try and break the hands he's got man strength in those hands. Johnson signed in November to uh, a scholarship with Ohio State, and that's where he'll be attending college next year. And he gets the escape, but he's looking for that high crotch now. And he scores with it, and he's got the half in and almost was able to turn him over for back points too. But an eight to nothing lead very quickly for Jim Johnson of Ohio and Walsh Jesuit. Frausto trying to hit the switch there, and he tried to hit it again. And now Johnson with that double arm bar again. Very, very tough with that move. Very difficult to get out of it. 58 seconds left in the second period as they go off the edge. He sneaks that bar in there and works that half, and the kid's movement actually tightens it up. Mark Getz found that out in the semifinals. He, whichever way he went, Johnson just took that half First one way, then the other, and Getz spent most of the third period on his back of that match. We're talking about Mark Getz. He was a AAA Pennsylvania State champion at Nazareth, and he also held a national freestyle title. So Mark came in with some good credentials, and uh, Johnson showed him what an armbar was pretty much about. And he borders a chicken wing, which we just looked at. <laughs> you haven't seen it in so many years, it's hard to recognize it anymore. Off the mat. 
And we have a locked hands call. One point green. Frausto still down. Eight to one in favor of Jim Johnson. Again, Frausto trying the stand up and Johnson in again with that half. Frausto almost went to his own back. Final seconds of the second period ticking off. See how deep he gets that thing, Rob? Very, very tough. And Frausto is going to hurt after this match is over. Two periods in the books, eight to one. Jim Johnson of Ohio and Walsh Jesuit in the lead over Alfred Frausto of Huntington Beach, California at Edison High School. We just started the third period. And Frausto, understandably, taking the neutral position, which also can be death against Johnson because he's just great on his feet as well. And there he is again on that single leg shot. See the success of lowering that level and getting that deep penetration. Now he's trying to come out from behind, almost had the half in for the near fall points, but he does get the takedown, Jim Johnson, and he leads 10 to one. Our official for this match, uh, Fred Ambrose, blowing the whistle. He'll also be running the Masters of the Mat competition, we've been told, June 27th to the 30th at Burl and Valley High Schools here in the Pittsburgh area. Potentially dangerous, Johnson again with those, with that arm barred. And I think Alfred Frausto is going to feel he's got the weight of, of the world off his shoulders at the end of this match. He does get the escape, though, and it's 10 to 2. Jim Johnson in the blue singlet has pretty much had things his way here in the 135-pound final. That's such a tough style to beat. You're on the bottom, you've had your arms barred for about two or three minutes, your head's been on the mat, and then when you wind up on your feet, nice kick out, real nice. Johnson gets the head out, turns the corner for another takedown at a 12 to two lead. Counting down now to 30 seconds left in the final at 135. Notice how with no pressure, Frosto's head is still down. That's just from that pounding that he's been getting on that head the whole match. He's able to spin out for the escape and it's 12 to three. And a spin behind by Johnson for the takedown and a suck back. And boy, is he going to finish this match in style. Three more near fall points coming for Jim Johnson. And he's going to win this match 17 to 3. Great performance. Yeah, threw him some raw meat before the match or something. When Jim Johnson is on, he's scary. And boy, was he on in this match. And a lot of momentum for his teammate, Clint Musser, in the 140-pound final. In just a minute, Bob Gaines will have a word with Jim Johnson. Jim Johnson, the 135-pound national champion and two-time Ohio State champion. Jim, great job. Thanks a lot. It was a tough, tough match, tough tournament. I'm glad I was in it. You don't believe in sitting on a lead, do you? No, I'm always out there trying to get more points. I, I love pinning. It's my favorite thing to do. That's what the sport's about. I didn't get it this time, but I got a lot of points in the process trying to. You had the arm bars working tonight. Yeah, that's my favorite move, and it was working a little bit, but uh, that's usually how I bury them, buried them. You ready for college now? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. I can't wait. Jim Johnson, our national champion, 135 pounds. Thanks a lot. 